Hello everyone, welcome to Algebra Part B. In this lecture, we talk about expanding and factoring. There are three very important expanding and factoring formulas, and it is worth remembering all of these, as they can make expanding and factoring easier. So the first one is called difference of square. It's a square minus b square equal to a plus b times a minus b. And going this way is factoring, and going back is expanding. The next one is a square plus 2ab plus b square equal to a plus b square. So you should be able to do factoring and expanding as well. Expanding will be used more often. And thirdly, a square minus 2ab plus b square equal to a minus b square. So these, so these two are very similar. You can see the only difference is plus and minus. Okay, let's see the application of these three. The first question comes from 2021 10A problem 9. The question is, what's the least, what's the least possible value of this? So let's open this. This is A. Assume this is A. So it's going to be, if we open it, it's going to be a square minus 2ab plus b square, which is 1. And the next one, if we open it, is x square plus 2xy plus y square. And you can see 2xy and 2xy cancel. So this simplify into plus x square plus y square plus 1. The question is, what's the least possible value? And we know. This is always greater than zero, greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero. So the smallest is zero, 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 so which will be one. Okay, let's see the next question. This is 2020 10a problem 14. The real number x and y satisfy this. What's the value of this whole thing? So this is a hard question. We need a lot of algebraic calculating. So here, first, x plus y, we already know, which is 4. We just need to calculate this. So this is equal to, we make it the same denominator, and the top will be x power of 5 plus y power of 5. And here, x squared y squared is 4. So this is 4. So basically, we just need to know x5 plus y5. How can we do that? So we know x plus y is 4. x times y is negative 2. And we will know if we square this, have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to 16. And this is negative 4. So we move negative 4 to the other side have x squared plus y squared is 20. This is a good start. And then uh, for 5, x5 plus y5, we can use x squared plus y squared times x3 plus y3. This, if we open, it will become um, x5 plus x3y2 plus y squared uh, y, uh, x squared y3 and plus y5. So this will equal to x squared y squared plus x times x plus y. If we factor x squared y squared out. So this is 4 times 4, 16. So you can see this will equal to this whole thing, minus 14. And lastly, we just need to figure out what is x3, y3. So x3, y3, you can use a similar idea, is equal to x squared plus y squared times x plus y, which will, if you open this, this will equal to x3, y3 plus x, y squared, and uh, x squared y. This will equal to xy times x plus y. So 
this is negative 2 times 4, negative 8. So um, this is 20 times 4, 80. So this will equal to, um, this is 80 equal to this, negative 8. And if we move negative 8 to the other side, we will have x3, y3 equal to 88. x3, y3 equal to 88. So this is 88. 88 times x square, y square, which is, we already got x square, y square is 20. So 20 times 88 minus 16 is 20 times 88 minus 16. Okay, we're almost there. So this is 20 times 88 minus 16, which will equal to 440. This is 22, 22 times 20, 440 minus 4. And uh, don't remember there's a plus 4 here. So in the end, the answer will be 440. Yeah, so this one needs a lot of algebraic calculating. Okay, let's see the next one, 2021-10A. Which of following is equivalent to this? So this one, you really need some observation and some maybe some experience. So here, if we add a 3 minus 2 here, so these two will become 3 square minus 2 square. And then, because difference of square formula, and this, if we times 3 square plus 2 square, this will become 3 power of 4 minus 2 power of 4. And then, if we times another 3, 4, 2, 4, different square again, so it's keep on using difference of square. And then, if we time this, become 316 minus 216. And if we time this, 332 minus 232. So continue. These two will become 364 minus 264. And this will become 3128 minus 2128. So this will be our answer. Okay. Let's see the next one, 2018-10a. Suppose that real number x satisfies this. What's the value of this? So it seems this looks like something a, because basically it's like a minus b equal to 3, and then we are looking for a plus b. So we can say a minus b is 3. And then what is a plus b? So here, you can see if we time them together, say a square minus b square, use difference of square. a square is 49 minus x square. And the b square is 25 minus square, x square. And then, this will be equal to minus x minus 6 canceled, which will equal to 24. Yeah, this need some experience and some observation. So 24, and uh, this is 24, and we know this is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Since a minus b is 3, so a plus b will be 24 divided by 3, 8. So 8 will be our answer. Okay, let's see the next one. This is from 2021-10B problem 15. So the real number x satisfies the equation this. What's the value of this? So since there's square root, naturally we will just uh, square on both sides. So this becomes x squared plus the middle is 2ab time together, only leaves 2, and the plus 1 over x squared. This is 5. 
And if you move 2 over, it will become x squared plus this equal to 3. And uh, then it seems we need to square it again. So because if we, the power is 11, so we want to get in close to this power. So if we square it again, let's say x squared plus this, if we square again, this is equal to x4 plus 2ab, still 2, plus this equal to 9. And if we move 2 over, this becomes 7. So now we have power of 4 equal to 7. And uh, if we times x power of 7 on both sides, we open these two, this becomes x11 plus x3 equal to 7, x power of 7, so which means these two is actually 7, x power of 7, then it's 0. So this one is a bit amazing. So we just do some bit of calculating and we find the answer. Okay, let's see the next one, 2015 10a, problem 16. Um, if, if we have these two equations, what's the value of x squared, y squared? So basically we first open it. It's x squared minus 2ab, so 4x plus 4. The other side, the other one, x plus 4 is y squared minus 4y plus 4. So plus 4 plus 4 cancelled. So let's cancel the 4. And, uh, and if we move 4x over, it's like x squared equal to 4x plus y. Let's reorganize. y squared equal to 4y plus x. And we are looking for x squared plus y squared. This will equal to these adding together is 5x plus 5y. And if we use x squared minus y squared, what we have, this is use top minus bottom. This actually will give us 3x minus 3y. That's interesting. So now we can factor. This is equal to x plus y, x minus y. This is 3x minus y. And if x and y canceled, we'll have x plus y is actually 3. And if we put this back here, it's 5x plus y, which will give us 15, is the answer we are looking for. Okay. The next one comes from 2021 10b, problem 11. Let's pause the video and read the question. Okay, so the question is like, uh, grandma make a rectangular piece and do some cutting, for example, like this. And it said the ex external side is equal to the internal. So let's assume this is x and y. So that means x times y is the total area. Divide by 2 is the interior part. The interior part is x minus 2 times y minus 2, like this. So this equation we can make, and the x and y are integers. We need to find the greatest possible number, which is what is largest of x times y. So here, x and y should meet, one, will meet, meet this condition. So let's open x, y equal to 2. We open this, x, y minus 2x minus 2y plus 4. This is 2xy minus 4x minus 4y plus 8. And uh, if we cancel 1xy, this is 1xy. Okay, so we are stopping here. Now, what can we do? So there's a small trick here. If there are four terms, you can do some factor like xy minus 4x minus 4y plus 8. So the first four, you can take x out, become 
y minus 4. And the next, um, you should also have a y minus 4. So it's like minus 4, y minus 4. And um, or basically, you can do consider those three, which will become x minus 4 times y minus 4. So if you open it, it's xy minus 4x minus 4y plus 16. But those three, there's no 16. So you need to minus 16, make it equal, and then put the plus 8 in the end. So basically, this whole thing will equal to x minus 4 times y minus 4. And uh, um, this is negative 16 plus 8, which will become negative 8. So minus 8. And if we move the 8 over, it will become 8 equal to this. So now that we have to find x and y, it's this condition. So we know 8 can be 8 times 1, and 8 can be 4 times 2. If it's 8 times 1 case, so x, y can be 12 and 5. 12 times 5 equal to 60. If it's 4 times 2 case, it, x, x and y can be 8 and 6, which will give a product of 48. So these two case. We want x times y to be greatest, so the answer is 60. Okay. Let's see the next one. This is from 2015 10a problem 20. So this one will use a similar idea like the previous one. A rectangle with positive integer side lengths has area A and the parameter P, which the following number cannot equal to A plus P. So let's say the rectangle is x, y, and area a equal to x times y. Parameter is 2x plus 2y. So a plus p will equal to x, y plus 2x plus 2y. Which number of value cannot be this? So this one, we can factor into x plus 2, y plus 2. And then, because 4 is created, so you have to minus 4, make it equal. This should equal to a number value. So let's try it one by one. Cannot equal to, say, can't equal to 100. So which means if we move the 4 over, we will have x plus 2 times y plus 2 equal to 104. So 104, you can, for example, factor into 4 times 26 and the x and y. Obviously, you can find the solution like this is 4, this is 26. Okay, so this works. And let's try 102 here. So this is 102 and this is 106. You know, 106 can only factor into like 2 times 53 um, or 1 times 106. 2 times 50, 53 is a prime number, and uh, there's nothing else we can do. So it's like 2 times 53, but uh, x and y should be positive integer. So in this case, x or, zero, or, x or y will be equal to 0, so this one actually doesn't work. Um, you can try others, for example, 104, 106, and uh, 108. And the truth is, if you add this number, say 106 with 4, you get 110. 110, you can factor into two number time together. Uh, each two number, each number is greater than 2, and you will find x and y. So only 102 doesn't work. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next lecture.